The first big snow of winter fell one night. When Billy woke up, he asked his mother if he could go outside to play in the fresh snow. His mother said, of course. But first, put on your winter clothes so you don't get cold. Billy was so excited on this very first day of big winter snow. He put on his hat, mittens, scarf, big winter coat and warm boots, and then ran outside to play in the fresh falling snow. He began to roll snowballs. Soon he had rolled two big snowballs. He started to build a snowman and placed a perfectly rolled snowball on top as his head. He went inside to get two pieces of coal for the eyes, a carrot for the nose, and an old hat to place on his snowman's uh -huh. head. Billy was very pleased with his snowman friend. He had to go in for dinner, and while he was eating, one of his wiggly teeth fell out. His mother reminded him to put the tooth under his pillow for the tooth fairy. The tooth fairy can wave her magic wand and turn your tooth into money, said Billy's mother. Billy said, thanks, Mom, and put the tooth in his pocket. He went outside to play in the snow and look at his snowman for a while before he had to go to bed. He decided he would put his tooth under the snowman's hat to see if the tooth fairy would find the tooth. The tooth fairy came overnight while Billy was sleeping and visited his snowman, of course. She found the tooth <laughs> under his hat. She waved her magic wand <laughs> over the tooth and it turned into a shiny new quarter. She then sprinkled her fairy dust all over the snowman's hat and the coin. When Billy woke up the next day, he ran outside to see if the tooth fairy had found the tooth underneath his snowman's hat. Billy then realized his snowman had moved overnight. There were tracks in the snow too. When he looked right in his snowman's eyes, something was very different. All of a sudden, the snowman sneezed. Billy was totally surprised and a little scared. This can't be real. You can't be alive, said Billy. Are you sure about that? asked the snowman. Billy couldn't believe it. Well, a snowman can't talk or sneeze or even walk, said Billy. Well, if you say so, said the snowman. Then the snowman lifted up his old hat to reveal the shiny new coin left by the tooth fairy. By the way, I think this is yours, he said, pointing to the coin. You are alive, shouted Billy. The snowman gave Billy the coin. Billy smiled the biggest smile he had ever smiled. It must have been the Tooth Fairy. She must have made you come alive, said Billy. He was so thrilled to have a real live snowman friend. He gave the snowman a big hug. For the rest of the winter, Billy and the snowman were inseparable. They played together all day, every day, from morning until bedtime. They had more fun than anyone could ever have. Finally, spring came, and it began to get warmer and warmer. One morning, Billy ran outside to play with the snowman, and he was nowhere to be found. All that Billy found was the old hat laying in the yard. Billy picked up the hat, and to his surprise, he found a tiny little snowman. His snowman had melted down to a tiny six-inch tall mini snowman. The snowman thanked Billy for a great winter. Billy was a little sad, but the snowman reminded Billy all he needed to do was build him again next winter. The snowman promised Billy he would return. Billy made him pinky promise. 
and said he would miss him during the summer. The snowman and Billy said goodbye and promised to have as much fun the next winter. They would remain great friends forever. The end.